a lot of you have been asking how to get like more advanced models, how to convert those over to inventor format. So this is GrabCAD. Um, you do need an account for it. So I know a lot of you are working on like a golf course that has world cultures in it. So I'm going to look for the Eiffel Tower here. You can see there's all kinds of models. Now I will say the more intricate it is, so the more details it is, the longer it's going to take to work with. So I'm just going to take, this is pretty simple. I'm going to click that. What I'm really looking for here is this file right here, the, the step file, or the STP. And it may also say step, S-T-E-P. So it's there. I'm going to go ahead and download the files. Now what it did is it downloaded that zip folder. So I'm really just needing the step file. So right now it's inside a zip folder. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to cut this file out of here. And I think I'm just going to drop it on my desktop for right now. Now I'm going to go to Inventor. And I'll start a new part file. So new and then standard.ipt. You may not have this on your screen yet. So you may have to put it in. I need this insert, this insert command. If it's not on your screen, here's how you get it. You should have this somewhere on your screen. It's a little down arrow that, that's the show panels. So if I click there, I want to make sure that insert is checked. If it's checked, then this will show up and I'm good to go. What I'm looking at doing is hitting this import button right here. So it's a piece of paper with a blue arrow. I click it and then I just need to navigate to the, the file. So there's Eiffel Tower. So I'm double click it. When I get here, it's going to pop up this dialog box. I want to make sure that I import everything. So I want to make sure solids are there, surfaces are there, and wires are there. If I click off three of those, then I should be in good shape, and I'm just going to hit OK. This part right here, this could take considerable time. It depends on what kind of model it is. Like I said, this model is, uh, is actually relatively simple, so that's why it went pretty quick. Other models have, have taken us almost an hour and, and some of them. And it, sometimes it'll even up here, it'll say not responding. And you'll think that your computer crashed. You just need to be patient with it and it'll come back to you. So the next thing is we need to figure out how big is this thing. So we could use our, our measurement tool. So tools and measure. You know, I could say right from the top down to the bottom here. How much is that? It tells me it's 116.055. So that's inches. Now, if I look around, kind of want to make sure I'm going straight down. Sometimes that, that measurement tool can go at an angle on you. So this is about 10 feet. If I needed to scale it, so if I want to scale, I'll be in the 3D model area. I'll go to direct. First thing I do is draw a box around it, and then I go to scale. It should already highlight, though. So if I need it to be smaller, I'll say 0.5. And you see it shrunk it. Now I need to realize if I click off of that and I go back to scale, that is now the new scale 1.0. Think of it as versions of something. This became the new 1.0. So if I need to go back to where it was, I can either hit the undo button or I need to realize I need to go up to 2.0 now to make it, oops, to make it where it was. Change that now to two. And now I'm back to where I started. Maybe I need to make it twice as big as it was originally, so I'll select it all again, and then I'll type in 2.0 for my scale factor, and it'll double its size up. So from there, what I'll need to do is I just go to File and, and Save As, and then it's going to save as an IPT now. So that should behave now just like any other inventor part that we've used.